the website and here you will find all the resources which you need to build the project so just click on this come to the ai course section so this is the course which i have launched and if you really want to master web development and understand every single fundamental that how application get built in the real world then this is the project for you this is the course for you i want you to come and have a look that what are the modules you're going to build what are the sections we have divided what are the technology you're going to learn we have the front end section we have the advanced section and we have the api section so we are using redux toolkit which is the most demandable technology right now in the industry so i want you to come and have a look that what application you're going to build and this will teach you a lot of thing and once you master this development part in this particular course then it would be very easy for you to master the web3 part because 80 percent is web2 and 20 percent is web3 so i want you to come and have a look on this particular course now click here and get to the source code here you will find all the source code which we have built on our pro on our youtube channel so you can simply come and have a look we have tons of projects and I believe that you have built some of the project. If you haven't built this particular one, start building. And we have the real estate marketplace. We have the Unisop clone. We have the chat application, DAB. We have the NFT marketplace. We have the supply chain. So these are the some of the important project which you have to include in your pro in your portfolio. So let's click here. Click on the recent one, and let's filter that one. Click on the recent one, and here you will find the final code and the starter file. So simply click on that. Uh, or you can simply search for here so search for token staking and you can easily able to filter it so click on that it's going to open and here you will find the final code and the strata file so just come and have a look that what you will get and if you take the final code you will give your valuable contribution to our team so this is the final code and let's click on the start file start file and you will get the complete assets the starter folder structure which we need to build this application so simply grab the url here we have provided some important resources which you can have a look from your end copy the url and let's go back here you can simply recent and you can watch the complete setup video like this one that once you will get the final code that how you have to do the setup that's probably what you can find here in this video so it looks pretty good close this one and come back here and create a new folder so let's me rename, rename this folder called staking dab make sure to create your folder and open this folder in your vs code so let me open my vs code click on this open go to desktop and select me the folder so this is the folder which i'm going to open and now make it full skin open up your terminal and we have to clone the repository so simply type get clone and just give this dot it's going to clone the repository in the same directory so here we have the entire folder and file structure which is already given to you all you have to do is to write the code so this is the entire startup file let me clear the terminal now let me give you a walkthrough that what you will get into the startup file so first thing we have this get delete this one now we have this asset inside that you will have couple of folder like css folder font folder images folder javascript folder and vendor folder so open this css inside that you will have couple of modules because we are using external libraries in our project internally we are not using cdn we are using internally library so all the minify version of java css you will find here bootstrap icons magnified carousel video responsiveness that's all you will find here if you come back to the vendor one here you will find the library and the coloring the font style so this is the css which you don't need to worry about it because in this we're going to focus more on the core functionality we're not going to build the css and this is the entire css file and this is the font file we have inside that we are using couple of custom font you can go with the default one but i'll go with the custom fonts so close this one this is the entire images so we have the background and if you want to change any images make sure to change it but you have to give the exact name because many of you said that my image is not displaying because you have given the different name and that's why it's not rendering so give the exact name which is given there and that would be fine and here we have the javascript folder in that we have the libraries so this is the main javascript file you can simply scroll and you can see here you can write the custom pre-roller main navigation slider log stuff that's all you can do it and here we have the library so we have all this library bootstrap count and gallery popular slider that's all library we have 
so this is the vendor so you might have so this is the vendor so you might have seen the notification that if anything goes wrong into our application we are showing in the notification bar so this is what it is so it will display you can customize the entire styling and the animation that's all you can customize from here and this is the javascript which is going to trigger the event whenever anything goes wrong into our contract close this one and that's the entire asset you will get now comes the most important part close this one and here we have this js file in that we're going to write the entire logic for our application entire logic for our application so the very first folder we have is this data folder because in our application we are rendering some of the data a hard-coded data so that's what we're going to do it with the help of this data folder in that we're going to keep the json file and from there we're going to fetch it so this is the data which is already provided in form of array all we have to do is to build the logic and we have to render these data this is the product so this is the product we have and we have the product data project details then project details so this one is for the blog post and we have the user transaction the history where we are displaying all the user information so this is the data folder now we have this common so here we're going to declare our state variable so i believe that you guys know that what is state variable that's what we have follow in react or in next year's project but in this we're going to build a separate file where we're going to define all the state variable and that's why i have called this common js and again i'm telling you that if it sounds complicated if you don't know what is state variable how to manage the state take that particular course in that we have built the movie that will teach you everything about the state management here we're going to define the common js then we have the ether package then we have the header then we have the index in that we would write the entire functionality of our so for staking then we have the initial which is an optional one and then we have the web3 library which we are using to interact with our contract and making things possible so this is the huge piece of code the, the entire library we have taken you can use the cdn but i would like to go with the library because it's not good to depend on the uh, exceedance because sometimes what happened that when you try to fetch the fetch the javascript file with the cdn and the website from where you are fetching it's slow it takes time to load the javascript so it's always better that in the production application you have to use the entire library locally and that's what we are doing here and that's the entire js file and that we're going to do all the work here we have the web3 inside that you will have the entire startup file so this is the contract folder inside that we're going to write all of this contract all of this contract so we have this address contract we're going to write we're going to write the context one erc20 initializer log all of this contract you can see for building this particular application we have to deal with multiple contract we have to find the address we have to build the context initialize honor re entrancy guard the token and the staking tons of things we have to do so it's going to be a pretty huge and that's why i say the DeFi development is quite little little complex than the normal nft one this is the script which I already given to all of you guys. So, so that's what we have here. And this is the test which we're not going to do it. And here we have the hardened config file. So all the setup is already done. All you have to do is to paste your, your wallet address. Your wallet address. This is the RPC world because we're going to deploy the contract to the polygon. You can take any one gorilla so far it's totally up to you and if you want to deploy on the main net you can go with that as well so make sure to do the exact configuration all you have to do is to pass your private key address here that will work fine now come back to the packages and files so these are the two packages we are using for the deployment of our contract okay looks pretty good and close this one and now we're going to have these pages in our project so we're going to have this analytical page we're going to focus on the contact we're going to focus on index then we have the project then project details and we have this register then we have the staking one and here we have this readme file here and here you will find some of the important information about the one the courses and if you want to take any consultancy that's all it's giving here which you can take it close this one and looks pretty good so that's the entire folder and file structure. I believe that you guys have understood that what you have got in the startup file and you are at the same stage where I am because from here we're going to code every single thing together to build this phenomenal tab. 
so i want you to be thoroughly focused take your time while learning this while building this particular project take your time while building this particular project try to understand every single thing which we going to do in the smart contract because once you understand every single thing which we going to cover in this project that will give you amazing idea that how you can build defi project